Hello friends, welcome to Cool ID Help. In this tutorial, we will see how to install VMware Workstation Pro 17 on Windows 11. Let's begin. First, open your favorite browser and type download VMware Workstation Pro in the search box and press enter. Then you will see some results, right? Just go to this one, do the right click, open in new tab. And this is the VMware official download website. Just scroll down, go to the right side and under this section, click on this download now button. And soon you will be redirected to the Broadcom website. This is because Broadcom hosting all downloadable software of VMware. So here, first we need to register. Go to this section, click on this register button and this user registration page will open. Here you have to give an email ID to register. So use the Gmail ID or any official ID you have. And now just click here and type the capture and move to the next. After that, you will get an email from the Broadcom in which the verification code will be sent. Just open your email box and get that code and put it here. Click verify and continue. Once the verification will be done, you will see the registration form. Here we have to provide some additional information like first name, last name, country, job title, and then we have to set a password for our account. So just type a password and confirm the password retype okay once you're done click accept create account and here we go just scroll down and you click i will do it later and after that you will see such kind of page right okay we are registered and now we will do sign in to the broadcom account here we go with the same email id which we have used to register Click next. Now just type the password. Click sign in. After that, you will see this kind of page. Okay. Go to the left hand side and now click on the my dashboard. Here you will see a search box with a button search. So in the search box, you have to type VMware Workstation Pro download something. Or if you come here, you can use the search on this page and type the same. After that, you will be, you will able to see this kind of page. And here, here you have to just do the scroll down and look for the download VMware Workstation Pro link and just click on it. And soon you will see some results on this page. Here we are going to download the VMware Station 17 for Windows and this is for personal use only. If you are looking for any professional use, you must purchase the license, right? Let's proceed with the latest version which is 17.0. Click on this arrow and here you have different release versions. So just choose the latest one, 17.6.2 and after a few seconds, we will see this page here we have a download link on the right hand side but this is disabled we had to accept the terms and conditions go here do checkbox click and now just click on this download button again a pop-up box click yes and this will redirect it to another form here we have to do some additional form filling like provide your address which is required to proceed so please enter the address and then click on the submit button. Okay, then again, you will be redirected to the same page. Now this time, the download button will be enabled. So just click on it to download. Wait for a few seconds. And then downloading will start. See this. Please wait for the download completion. 
After that, we will execute this. Downloaded exe file to install the VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11. Okay, friends, this is downloaded. Let's move to the download location. And this is our installer exe file. Now simply do the double click on it. This is the splash screen VMware Workstation Pro 17 going to be installed on your system. And soon we will, we will see the installation first window. This is okay. We are ready to proceed. Now click next. And this is the end user license agreement. You can read it carefully. This is for the personal use only except click next. And now this will ask you to install the Windows hypervisor platform software automatically. So you can simply click on this checkbox. So this will be installed first, then your VMware workstation will be installed. Otherwise you have to do it manually. Click next, leave this thing as it is. And we are going with the check the product updates on startup and just uncheck the second one you want to do the desktop and the start menu entry so click next now click finally install button and now wait for the completion of this progress bar the installation is in progress this will take five max five minutes for the complete installation so please sit relax until it finish and finally you will see this message completed the vm web workstation pro setup installation and finally, you can close the window. Now we will launch VMware Workstation first time on Windows 11. So this is not automatically launched on startup. Now we have to check. We have to search it. Or you can simply go to the desktop. And you can launch here from the desktop icon. Just click on it. And this is the VMware Workstation interface and workstation VMware workstation pro 17 is installed successfully on your system i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool id help